Hi, Facebook friends and family. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I just finished my workout for the day and it's a beautiful Friday here in North Carolina. I am uh, just really just uh, chilling this morning. Well, I chilled this morning, did my workout, got everything done that I was supposed to get done this morning, uh, ran my errands, and then I had a really quick word for you. Let's just call this a weekend word. And it is, I finally figured out what was holding me back. All right, let me say that again. I finally figured out what was holding me back. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Amy, Darlene, Sheila. I see there's a lot of people hopping on. Great to see everybody this afternoon. And I tell you what, when I finally figured out who was holding me back, it was a little bit um, um, frightening to say the least, okay? And I tell you what, one of the things that I've learned about anything that I do, and that is, or anything that, things that I help other people with, is there's always this one person that's holding you back from doing some of the things that you really want to do. Whether it's with your vision, whether it's with your career, or your calling, or regardless of what it is, okay? There's always this one um, person that seems to hold you back. And I experienced that the past couple of weeks myself. I kept saying something that I couldn't do or, or I kept making excuses or reasons as to why I, I couldn't do it or whether, why I shouldn't do it, that sort of thing. But let me tell you what I found out. That the person that was holding me back or I finally figured out that the person that was holding me back was me. Okay, It was my own apprehensions. It was my own fears. It was my own, hmm, should I really do this? It was my own, hmm, am I really hearing from God? Is it my own, wow, you know, is this something that I really want to be able to do? Hey, Shanika, how are you? So I want to give you a really, really quick weekend word. You know what? I always say really quick and then I always sing on here a little bit longer than I intend to. <laughs> Okay, but I got can't stay on here long today because we got several graduations we've got today and uh, in different cities in North Carolina. So it'll be interesting to see how we get to them all. But anyway, um, I want to tell you how I found out that the person that was holding me back was me. And that is I started uh, working on something and I started doing the research. I knew how to do that. I started um, talking to different people about it. I knew how to do that. Okay, uh, there were other different things that I really wanted to be able to do, but then I found out that every single moment, every single time I said why I couldn't do something, it was all something that was in my control. All right, so how did I find out, or why did I, why do I now know what was holding me back was me? It's because there were some things that I needed to do to do the things that I wanted to do, get that, some things I needed to do to do the things that I wanted to do and the things that I needed to do, I really didn't want to take the time or the effort to be able to get them done. Or I kept making excuses as to why I couldn't get them done. Sometimes, you know, you, I even blamed other people. One time I even blamed my husband. Well, you don't even want me to do it. Had nothing to do with him because every time I want to do something, all Dennis Williams asked me is how much is it going to cost? He never says no. He never says you can't do it. He just always says, if y'all know my husband, his first words are, well, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> okay? So here's the thing I want you to know is that if there is something that you desire to do, if it's to go back to school, if it's to walk completely in your calling, if it is to get a different job, you want to go into a different career, it doesn't matter what it is. Ask yourself, who is really holding me back? And I guarantee you, your answer is going to be you. Now, let me tell you something else that I discovered in this whole figuring out who, hold, who was holding me back kind of thing. Is that, you know, you always, we always tell people that when you want to do something, pray and seek God and God will give you an answer. Well, God gave me answers to some things that I had been asking him about a long, long time ago. Gave me some answers to some things a long, long time ago about what I'm to be doing, how I'm to be doing it, who I'm to be doing it for, those sorts of things. But I never stepped out on it. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you, these are some of the things. I did some of the things he said, but some of the other things I never really stepped out on because I kept wondering how were other people going to feel if I stop 
stopped doing this and started doing that. Okay? Make sure you're understanding me. Because anytime God has something for you to do, it may be pulling you away from one thing to get you to do another. All right? It may be pulling you away from one thing to get you to be doing another. So sometimes God will pull you away from this, which is your now, and he will get you to doing that, which is your next. All right? I talked about that a little bit earlier. If you're on my email list, uh, you saw my email, you saw an email video that I sent out earlier this week that talked about your now and your next. And if you're not on my email list, then please go to drsandraspeaks.com, drsandraspeaks.com, and give me your name and your email, and you'll get on there automatically. Okay? So now let me go back to that. So what I learned was that I did not want to let go of my this so God could give me that. All right? I did not want to let go of my this so that God could give me that. Let me say it a different way. I did not want to let go of my now so that God could give me my next. So here's the thing. In that particular incident, I was standing in my own way. I couldn't blame it on God. I couldn't say that God hadn't given it to me. I'm still sweating, y'all, because I came uh, just coming in from working out. <laughs> okay? I couldn't say that God didn't give it to me. I couldn't say that someone else was standing in my way. I couldn't say that uh, I didn't have everything it took to be able to do what God had given me. What I had to do was say, you know what, God? I did not want to let go of what you had given me before that I had already accomplished, that I had already learned everything there was to learn in that season. I didn't want to let go of that so that you could give me the next thing that you had for me. I didn't want to let go of my current season so that you could give me the next season. So who is standing in the way of, the, of my next? I can't say it was anybody other than myself. So what do I have to say for you ladies and gentlemen who are on here today who are listening to this? And if you listen to the replay, thank you for joining in. Now, what do I have to say to you today is that there are going to be times when you have to release where you are now to get to the next thing that God has for you. There are times where if you want to take the next steps in your life, you're going to have to move over to a different walkway. There are going to be times that if you want to be elevated and take steps that take you forward or move you upward, that you're going to have to get onto a different staircase. That's something that moves you in a different direction. You see, I learned that when God gets ready to elevate you, sometimes he has to pull you out of a season where you are because you've already done everything in that season. You've already accomplished that. You've already learned everything there is to learn where you are now. And now it's time for you to move over into your next. I know the next is scary. I know the next you, you wonder, is there anybody going to stand with you in the next? Is there any going to be anybody with you that can help you? Is there going to be anybody there that can understand what it is that what God has given you? Is there anybody that's going to understand the fact that you want to walk away from a six figure job to do what you love? Because that's what I did. I walked away from a six-figure job to do what I absolutely love, and I'm doing it every single day, all right? Making just as much, and, and actually, I like, my, my husband would like me to get into that. He doesn't like me to talk about that, so I won't talk about that. But anyway, so doing just as well, let's put it that way, <laughs> doing just as well, but I'm loving what I do. But it would have never happened if I would have stayed in the season where I was. Now, here's, here's what I want you also to know. All right, y'all are quiet out there. Give me some likes if, if you're understanding what I'm talking about. Give me some likes or say I gotcha or whatever because y'all are mighty quiet out there today. Or maybe you guys are just, maybe you ladies and gentlemen are just writing, okay? So here's what I've come to understand. Thank you. Thank you, Darlene. <laughs> there you go. All right, here's what I've come to understand is that when it's time for you to move into another season, when it's time, you are going to get in your own way. And you are going to make it so uncomfortable for yourself that you will want to stay comfortable. You're going to make it such that you don't see a reason to move out of your own way. But let me tell you today that if you want to move into your next season, if you want to move into your next, 
If you want to get out of this so that you can move into that, then you've got to do some things that are uncomfortable. You've got to do some things that you never thought you could do before. And most importantly, you've got to rely on God because God has already given you what you need for your next season. Let me tell you why I know that to be true. All right. This is a revelation to me. I was doing something this morning. Uh, my son and I were working on something this morning. And I said something to him and he and I were talking about something and then God just dropped this in my spirit that God would not show you a season or show you your next if he wasn't ready for you to get prepared to walk into it. Mm, you got that? God would not show you your next if he was not ready for you to prepare to walk into it. Now, make sure you understand this. When God shows you your next, it doesn't mean that you're ready to walk into it immediately. Sometimes there's, pre not sometimes, all the times, there's preparation. There may be things that you have to do. You may have to go back to school. You may have to be educationally ready. You may have to be spiritually ready. You may have to be emotionally ready or financially ready. And there may be things that you have to do in those areas. But when God shows you your next, that means it's time for you to prepare for it. And I will tell you, sitting around, Asking yourself or telling yourself that you can't do it or coming up with all these excuses as to why it can't happen or as to why it's not the time will only, only keep you from getting to where God wants you to be. So who was standing in my way? Who did I finally figure out was standing in my own way? It was me. It wasn't my husband. It wasn't my son. It wasn't my church. It wasn't God. It wasn't any, my family. It wasn't anybody else but me. All right. So I'm asking you today, are you standing in your way of doing what God has called you to do? Are you standing in your way of your next? Are you standing in your way of your new season? Are you standing, are you the one standing in your way of your that because you don't want to give up this? All right. This is so on my heart today. I am speaking this weekend at a, an academic achievement and graduation pro and promotion celebration at the Fountain, uh, the Fountain of Raleigh Church this weekend. And I'm so excited about that because the Lord has just given me a word about stepping, about stepping. And my, that's what my son and I were talking about today. And, and I was saying, you know, when God gives you something, regardless of what that something is, regardless of how big it is, but when God gives it to you, he will order your steps to make it happen. But here's the thing. Stepping requires movement. If you're going to get to that next thing that God has for you, if you're going to walk into that new season, if you're going to be prepared, regardless of what your preparation looks like, if that's going to happen, then you've got to make some movement. You've got to do some things, whether it's a new, whether it's a class, whether it's some research, whether it's coaching, whether it's mentoring, but you've got to do something to get prepared to walk into the next thing that God has for you. Remember, God's not going to show you an opportunity and you're, and you're not prepared to go ahead and walk in. Now, again, you've got to be prepared. you got to make sure. Are you financially ready, spiritually ready, emotionally ready, all those different kinds of readiness? Are you ready for all of that? And if you're not, but you still know that's where God is saying for you to be, then what you need to do is get yourself ready. Get yourself prepared. So when God opens that door and makes, and you begin to walk through it, you're ready. That's what I understand now. And the only thing keeping you from that, the only thing keeping me from that is ourselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's your weekend word. Here's your weekend nugget. If you don't get anything else out of this that I'm saying today, here's your weekend nugget. Get out of your own way. Get out of the way so that you can do what God has called you to do. Kimberly says, get ready, get ready. Yes, get out of your own way. And when you get out of your own way, when you get out of the way of your thinking, when you get out of the way of thinking that you can't do something, when you get out of the way of wondering what other people or what will other people say, you know, I, I learned over the past couple of months, all right, over the past couple of months, that if I'm concerned, if I remain concerned about thinking about what other people say about what I'm going to do or what God has called me to do, 
that I will be sitting right here in my house miserable. And I refuse to let someone else make me miserable. All right. Some of you are miserable because there's so much tied up inside you, but you've been standing in your own way. So your weekend word this for this weekend is figure out how to get out of your own way and then move. Mm, that was good. <laughs> figure out how to get out of your own way and then move. Let me say it one more time. Figure out. Figure out how to get out of your own way and then move. All right. Now, some of you may not be able to figure it out on your own. You may need some help, but go get some help. Go call a friend. Do whatever you need to do. All right. But you know what God has said you are to be doing in your next season, whether it's school, whether it's career, whether it's ministry, regardless of what it is, you know what it is. You know exactly what it is. And because you know what it is, it's now time for you to move towards it. So get out of your own way. Move. You're going to be uncomfortable. That's fine. You're going to wonder what people are saying. That's fine too. Things are going to be different for you. That's fine. Things are not going to look like what they used to look like. That's fine. You may have to be by yourself as you travel this road. That's fine. Others may not understand you. That's fine. But you know what? Even in all of that, you know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, that because God says you are to do it, that he's everything that you may concerned about, about be, be concerned about, about your next season. Everything that you may be concerned about, if it has to do with your next Everything that you may be concerned about, about with the next thing that God has for you. Let me tell you a secret. God has already perfected it. Because the word of God tells us is that, that he has perfected all of those things that concerns us. That means that he perfected it before it was ever a concern. He perfected it before it was ever a concern. Therefore, if you're concerned about your next, let, let me let me let me let you in on something. God's already handled the next. You just got to step in it. If you're concerned about the next season that God has for you, let me tell you a secret. God's already perfected it. That means he's already completed it. He already knows what the end is going to be because he created you to walk in the end. Mm, got it? All right, y'all. I better get off of here. But remember, here's my here's my my weekend word for you. Get out of your own way so that you can accomplish the things that God has designed and purposed for you to for you to accomplish. Get out of your own way. Yes, step into your next. I like that. Step into your I'm going to use that tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, I've already sent my my sermon title over to the church. But uh step into your next. Where you are now is where you are now. But where you need to be is the next that God is calling you to. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next Friday for your weekend word. Have a great day. Bye-bye.